um, Black Star Network, exactly what you just focused on and talked about and what we just talked about in the last segment, what our platform is, what the shows are curated to do, what information they're trying to put out there, okay? I feel like the medium is the most important because you can have a network or you can have a station or you can have a channel and then you can drive off anytime the ship to go and join the negative and then now you don't become the credible source. You just come in part of the norm or trying to do whatever else is doing. The negative headline that we discussed earlier is what's selling. So if that negativity sells, you started off with the idea like, hey, I'm going to go do this. I'm going to go do that. This is what I'm going to focus on. And then as soon as you see that your ratings and your your network uh, ratings are going down, it's like, all right, well, let me focus on the stuff that people are talking about, that negative thing that's popping, that's that's going to make my ratings and my my network get its fame and my its publicity. And let me put that out there as the leading source. Or let me create and get the shows that are like the Kardashians, that are like the Sopranos, that are like the Sex in the Cities, to now take away from the basis of what my network was created for. And now let me put that on there so I can get ratings. Everything is about ratings. It's like, if you don't have ratings, then you don't have a job. There's ways to do this. And it's called creating that space in your own space to thrive in. It's, got, it's not gonna be a microwave process. Sometimes it's gonna be a crock pot. It's gonna be a slow cooker. Most people want that microwave success when they create something, they wanna be popular right away. They want the success right away. All of these networks didn't start off like that right away. They right. built their brand. They stuck to it, and over time, then they gained that traction into getting into those spaces where they're able to get to those platforms and those actual networks that are now buying into them because of the hard work that they put in. But now everybody wants to be in this microwave world where I'm going to start off this way, but since this don't work, I'm going to jump right to the negative, and that's going to get me out there. Yeah, that fame lasts for about two or three seconds, and then you know what happens? You get drowned out by everybody else talking about negative. So if y'all talking about the same thing, now you get lost in the sauce. So I could turn into the culture to hear about the positive stuff, but since they talking about the violence, why well, might as well watch the news? Why well, might as well go on Shade Room? Why well, might as well go on like I might as well go to these other sites that are doing that same thing that's more access and feasible? Why would I want to wait every Monday through Friday from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. to listen to the culture talk about it when I can scroll right on Twitter and see it? Or I can scroll right on Instagram and see it. So that's where you lose the credibility. We're bringing something to the table that's different. So that's why I say the medium does matter because the type of the content that we're putting out there, not even when you just focus on the culture, but whatever your space and media is, if that's what you're pushing, that's what your medium is for, for you to work and continue to contribute to that aspect of it. Folks, Black Star Network is here. I'm real um, revolutionary right now. Black power. Support this man, Black Media. He makes sure that our stories are told. Uh, thank you for being the voice of Black America, Roller. I love y'all. All momentum we have now, we have to keep this going. The video looks phenomenal. See, there's a difference between Black Star Network and Black owned media and something like CNN. You can't be Black owned media and be skate. It's time to be smart. Bring your eyeballs home. You dig?